Hey everyone, welcome back to another war video. This one, war number four of season 38, for Loki taking on SAS. Uh, you will see I once again have Spider-Man 2099, his buddy Anti-Venom for the synergy, and this time War Machine comes along for the ride. Um, I have seven fights this war, so we'll get right into it on um, this Ebony Maw. I'm on path six in both sections, so this Maw has aggression, prowess, and then critical setup. Um, Maw can be a little annoying on critical setup because he can make your guaranteed crits miss, but he can't do that against science champions, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I do want to make sure that I'm keeping his prowess under control, um, and I also want to make sure that I'm heavy. You can see I'm you know, held heavy and it worked out there. Uh, that was a little bit of a, we'll say risky heavy. Um, but you know, this is pretty much a typical Maw fight. I, like I said, just really don't want him to um, to gain too many prowess. And now he's up to seven. So I'm really trying to, you know, trying to watch the focus, trying to trying to get a heavy, but I can't, I can't parry him. Um, he, he gets up to a special two here. So it's going to hit pretty hard into my block, and I have the fall thrown. He, he's hit me a little bit, so in my corner, you know, it's not going great, but I do throw the special two, and you can see Spider-Man 2099 just, when he gets that special two, uh, when it lines up, it can be really devastating. So he, he kind of bailed me out there. It wasn't the best gameplay, but but Spider-Man was able to, to do pretty well. Um, so here is Hyperion on node 25. Um, so Hyperion can be pretty annoying. Um, he's a conduit defender, uh, but Spider-Man 2099 does a really good job of countering him as he's sick and tired, and also with the Wither, he can really control his power. Um, so you can see, you know, Hyperion not gaining any power right now um, because I'm just hitting his block, and the Wither is, is making sure that he doesn't gain power from his passer from his passive power gain. Um, I throw a heavy there because in a, the exhaustion debuffs also decrease his power gain, so now he's actually losing power. Um, I throw another heavy just because why not? Um, but you can see, you know, Spider-Man really doing a good job of handling this fight. Um, this node gives uh, me a power sting every time they get to a bar of power, so... You can see he doesn't get to a bar of power, and I just nuke it down. So Spider-Man really, really good at controlling that fight. Um, nothing too crazy there. Um, so here will be the first of actually two Dooms that I'm going to fight this war. Um, this Doom has uh, superior specials and return policy. I'm not going to nullify anything, so really it just is going to be a Doom where his specials hit pretty hard. Um but you know what, like all the Doom fights and like really every fight with Spider-Man, you want to make sure that, you know, you can hit their block, um, keep the wither up, get those ruptures up. So he was pretty aggressive to start. You can see I was, I was uh, dodging a little bit more than I wanted to, uh, but you can see now he's being a little bit more agreeable, um, standing there holding block to let me hit it and really stack up the ruptures. So you can see him with the 17 ruptures, uh, 20, got a nice detonate off there. He throws a special one. Um, Cool thing with uh, Spider-Man 2099 again, because he's sick and tired, so that spider that um, Doctor Doom special one was actually not unblockable like it normally is, um, because sick and tired turns off unblockable. So just, you know, another thing, Spider-Man 2099, really, really, really good um, as a sick and tired attacker, um, and he just was able to really handle that Doctor Doom here. Um, so this next fight's going to be the fight that I brought War Machine for, so it's going to be Bishop here. This is going to be a pretty annoying node for Bishop, but War Machine really good for it. So I'm going to put uh, the two War Machine pre-fights on, the Energy Resistance, and then the Skirmish, which makes his debuffs a little bit longer and stronger. Um, so basically the plan here is don't let Bishop throw a special one. Um, I have a Power Start 1 on as well. Um, I've had that on since the Hyperion fight. Um, so just to be able to get a little bit smoother, um, you know, I can see, you can see here, I, I moved past the special one with War Machine, which is really one, where you want to be at for this particular fight. Uh, but this is a fight where if you block a special, he gets a prowess. So prowess can be pretty annoying. And also when, when I parry, um, I get a disorient. So like I said, I do not want to, um, I do not want him to throw a special one, but here is where War Machine's really good for this node. His special one removes all prowess, um, so those blocked special attacks don't become as big of a deal because I can just remove the prowess afterwards. Because uh, on this node, I believe it's, you know, if he has at least three prowess, then it becomes unblockable, so he, he can be really annoying. Um, but War Machine, he's a tank. You can see he, he did really well with that fight, um, just kind of 
baiting out heavies from blocks. Uh, but a really, really strong War Machine fight. I really do enjoy War Machine. Um, so, but that'll be it for him. The rest of the fights are going to be Spider-Man 2099. Um, so here I have Mojo on this shared fight of uh, Node 39. So this has Ebb and Flow uh, Intercept and uh, Crumbling Armor as well as Mighty Charge. Um, so Mighty Charge means I can't just parry um, when he charges in, which is fine. Um, Ebb and Flow Intercept means that I don't get my Wither. So I actually uh, pop an Invulnerability Boost uh, because my Power Start 1 ran out. Um, so here you can see, you know, doing pretty well so far. Got a nice intercept off, so I'm about a third of the way through. Um, I should have thrown my special two there, but I get a little greedy, and I'm going to try to nail an intercept first. Um, so I'm trying to bait this special one out, but Mojo's power gain, you know, every time he gets a prompt, um, he will be able to gain some power. So there, you know, I get nailed with the indestructible. I dodge a little too early there on the heavy. So I just decide to throw the special three just to, to get out of the corner. Um, like I said, I wanted to have the special two. Um, it wouldn't have hit as hard because I didn't have as many debuffs on, but I still wanted to have it on there. Um, so I stun him and put a slow debuff on, but I can't really punish him because his power is pretty high. So here... I get greedy. Uh, I I should just I should have just blocked that last hit of the special too. Um, I was a split second early, and you can just see the degen from Mojo really really strong. So I do get my first death of the season. Very preventable. Um, the fight was very well in hand. I, I shouldn't have dodged that last hit. Uh, like I said, got a little greedy. Tried to get I guess a little fancy and just was not was not something I should do. So here you see, I get another special two. I do not try to dodge the last hit this time. Just block it. I get the intercept. I throw the special two, and that's going to be it for Mojo. Really frustrating death because it was. it's a pretty straightforward fight with Spider-Man 2099 um, and just made a really dumb mistake. Um, but, you know, such is war. Uh, on to the next one. So here is Dr. Doom on the Conflictor Mini. This is a pretty common placement for him. Spider-Man 2099, very good for this fight. Um, so basically what I want to do, because the Conflictor eats the Wither at the start. So the whole goal at this point is make sure you get the Wither back up and then keep it up. Um, because then you can pretty much turn off at least the power game part of Conflictor. So here I'm going to play this fight probably a little bit more passive than you actually need to. Um, I'm sticking him, at, I'm trying to stick with him at, at special one. Um, you can see that I'm 30 seconds in the fight. I have one exhaustion on him, which is helping with his power gain um, for Conflictor. I also do have, for what it's worth, a white Magneto pre-fight on here, so I can parry uh, reliably, but you can see Dr. Doom being very stingy with this special. He's not throwing it. I should have just been more, a little bit more aggressive and pushed him up to special two. Um, but, you know, he finally throws that special one. So here now, I, Conflictor's on cooldown. I can throw the special two if I want. But again, I'm being probably overly cautious here. Um, I... I didn't fight to there. Uh, he throws a special one. I get clipped by the tail end is what it is. And then I throw a heavy into his aura. So at this point, you know, now I'm just like, well, hey, is it special too? Let me just throw the, uh, throw it. So I'm going to block it because again, you know, I'm not trying to be a hero, but I'm a little bit behind in the health here, but I have the wither up. I have the one exhaustion up and that's really what you need for this fight. So now with this, you can have him constantly go above a bar of power and then below a bar of power and that's really what you want because you're reversing with the wither and the exhaustion you're reversing the conflictor power gain um, which is able to get the rupture bursts a little bit more consistently so i only have five ruptures up right now which is not great um, I'm trying to, there There you can see I was waiting for him just to kind of hold block so I get a few more ruptures up, um, throw the special two, so now I have the second wither up, which is really going to help with his power gain. So now the power should be absolutely fine for the rest of the fight. Um, but I, I'm not have I, like I said, not great with the with the ruptures here. I only have five on, uh, but you can see I'm getting a little bit better here, and I, I'm, I'm in much more better control of the fight. I mean, look, I, this fight is not a fight that should be a two and a half minute fight, um, but it was my first time taking Doom on this particular node, and I was, like I said, probably a little bit more cautious than I needed to be, um, but you can see Spider-Man 2099, once you get him set up for that, 
Um, basically, once you get that wither back on, you can keep it on. He is excellent for that fight at controlling uh, what needs to be controlled. Um, so last fight of the war for me, this is going to be Mangog on Node 54, like I mentioned. Um, this is pretty much a staple for him, but Spider-Man 2099, um, you know, <laughs> just very good for it. So I do have a power start one. Um just to make sure, you know, because once I get to a spe uh, my own special two again, um, you know, that puts on the second wither and that really turns everything off. Um, so this fight, like I said before, um, really the big things you have to watch out for is one, keeping the wither up, um, as always. And, and two, you want to make sure that you're checking out his hatred. So he gets two hatred every time he throws a special one and he gets one hatred um, if either champion finishes a five combo. So here you see I do exactly what you're not supposed to do against Command Gog, and that's throw a five combo. And then I throw my special, which makes it a little bit more interesting because you're, you're about to see he's going to throw this special one and do what I don't want him to do, which is get his to 10 hatred. So at this point, he's unstoppable. I have no way of actually uh, doing anything about it, so I just got to wait it out. So I get into my corner. It could have been a lot worse. Uh, um, but I do end up waiting out the unstoppable. Sick and tired did help there because it did turn off the unblockable part of that. Um, so, you know, could have been a lot worse. I didn't manage the fight as well as I probably could have. Um, but again, Spider-Man 2099, just able to kind of make up for that. Um, so that'll do it for me for this war set. Like I said, seven fights, um, did get my first death of the season. So that's a little unfortunate, uh, but got the last two fights of this war to get my streak back up to two. Um, so we shall see if I can keep that going in terms of the war itself. Uh, we were able to pull this one out. So good war to SAS. Um, but thankfully we were able to get back to winning ways. So through four, wars we are now two and two um, hopefully we can continue picking up a few more wins and uh, finish up in masters once again but that'll do it for this one um, i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see everyone soon